Hello and welcome back to Leeds United's Road to the Premier League Season 2 Episode 2. Uh, in this video we had a big offer for Elad's Juve which I couldn't turn down from Brighton for 1 million squid. Uh, the striker was 32 years old so I thought I can't turn down that money he had to go for that which he did. Uh, I've got big plans with that money anyway I'm thinking of bringing Neil Dans in or another midfielder. Uh, you'll find out who in a couple of series time. Anyway, we've got a Capital One Cup game coming up against Yeovil. So we're going to go on to that. Uh, hoping not to concede as many goals this season. That was my Achilles heel. I had conceded way too many goals. And uh, before I knew it, my goal difference was horrendous. And uh, it cost me the playoff position, as you all know, last season. So the plan is for that not to happen again. I've bought a few more players in. I might buy another left back or right back. Uh, depends how well I do. Uh, in the next two games. So we've got Yeovil City at home so I'm gonna play this game in the Capital One Cup and as you can see there's my new signing George Boyd absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's a class player I hope to see him in a lead shirt soon for real but Peterborough fans will snap my head off for saying that because I know they think of him very highly as you can see I've got uh, Butland in there, I've got Kisnarbo at centre back with Pierce, and I've got my new signing in there as well. Uh, should have scored early on the 8th minute but obviously ruled out for offside. Uh, Ross McCormack is an absolute mile off there. Uh, had another opportunity here for DJ, had a good shot and Craig McCall Smith scored the rebound. It was nothing less than I deserved. I was all over in the first half. But uh, Plucky Yeovil managed to get one back through some awkward defending. And uh, a mix-up there has cost us uh, the win for now. It looked to be heading to extra time and that was exactly where it headed. 1-1 uh, at full time. Didn't know what to do really different than I'd already done. But uh, just kept going as I was. I was lucky not to lose the game there. Yeovil had a really good chance. But I nearly got them on the break as well. I mean, they were driving everyone forward. And I was driving everyone back to defend. But I got caught out there. And this is just plain stupid by uh, myself. George Boyd there, already on the yellow card. Dives in two-footed. And the ref's got no option but to send him off. And his second yellow card. That's absolutely stupid. Anyway, it went to penalties. And I had to rearrange my penalty takers for the simple fact they were rubbish. I mean, Naki Wells is my best finisher. And I think he's one of the youngest players on the pitch. So that tells you everything you need to know. Uh, Wells was up first. Who converted brilliantly keeper was nowhere near it so 1-0 to Leeds on penalties Yeovil up at Reed, who forces a fine save from Butland Butland seems to be really good at saving pens Beckford up next and once again decide to go straight down the middle the keeper decides to dive and it's 2-0 to Leeds Webster here for Yeovil coming up against Butland and the just manages to squeeze it in there. Uh, Vadija has a shot. Oh, and it's been saved straight down the middle again. Uh, goalkeeper not outwitted this time. Uh, Hater has a shot and Butland saves again brilliantly. Really good save there. Uh, Roddy Alfostin smashes it. No doubt at all. The beast scores. 
and this was the deciding penalty. Yeovil missed this. I'm through to the next round of the Capital One Cup. So all I had to do was save this and I came mighty close there. Really unlucky. I feel that I didn't save that. Byram scores this. It's all over. And he's missed it. Oh no. He's missed it. He's absolutely skied it. So it's all up to uh, Butland or Ince. Ince scores. It's all to play for. And he misses. He hits the post. So it's all over. I've won the first round of the Capital One Cup. Really, really hard game. Uh, credit to Yeovil. Took me all the way. Real plucky team. And as you can see, you've got players suspended. It's obviously George Boyd, who's pulled a calf. So he's injured for two weeks anyway. Butland shines in his Leeds United debut. Uh, made some cracking saves in that game. Anyway, onwards to our next game, which is our first league game of the season at home to Nottingham Forest. Uh, I didn't really make many changes. We both had the home strips. Uh, I decided to put Craig McCall-Smith in instead of Naki Wells and obviously Robinson because Boyd's uh, suspended and injured. So... That's pretty much that. I've got Wells on the bench for some pace. I decided to leave this in for the simple fact that I couldn't be bothered to edit it out. I know that's really unprofessional, but I'm being honest. Anyway, we are now starting this game against Nocton Forest at home. First league game of the season. Uh, some woeful defending here sets... Uh, Ayala up for a great goal there. I do not know what he is doing. I mean, it's like he's scared of the ball. Anyway, that was half time. Losing 1 0 to Nottingham Forest. Pretty poor half. Didn't really have any shots at all and decided to change it and bring some pace on up front. Decided to bring Wells on for McCall Smith, who was being pretty poor. Uh, Alan Tate tackles one, passing's 87%. So that pretty much tells the story of what the game's been like, mostly in the middle of the park for me. So we kicked off the second half with some intent, and we bashed and bashed and bashed down the door. Uh, Ross McCormack there getting robbed, tried to cut in on the inside. Jason Pierce winning the ball there. He was fantastic in this game. Uh, and Wells passing it to Austin, who makes a great run, who smashes it into the bottom corner in the 90th minute. Pretty much the last chance that I had, and he takes it. I was absolutely ecstatic about that. Uh, the last thing you want is to start the season off with a loss, and I nearly won it there as well. Uh, piling the pressure on corner after corner. I had three or four corners before this and they all went for another corner and in the end the goalkeeper camp had it safely in his grasp and that was that. Full time 1-1 uh, against Nottingham Forest. I'll take that. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, last ditch goal by myself. That's what I need to do if I want to get promoted. I need to score goals like that and as you can see Butland's got man of the match. Uh, that's what kind of game it was. They really didn't deserve to get anything out of it. Anyway, on to our first away game of the new season against Charlton. Uh, you can see I've started Beckford and Wells up front. And we've won 3-2. Uh, Robinson got two. And uh, Austin got another one. Uh, Tate got injured. And Pierce got yet another yellow card. So he's already on two for the season already. I uh, had to make some changes, obviously, because Tate's injured. Uh, I'm going to have to bring in Kiss Narbo. And uh, obviously put Tate out of the equation completely while he's injured. And I'll put King back in there. I don't know why I'm not playing King. It's just I'm preferring Wells at the moment. I might sell him and get some money for him while I can. Uh, that was pretty much... That uh, player's injured. That's obviously Tate. 
He's out for six weeks. That's a massive blur for us. Uh, Going to get a covering defender in anyway. Who you'll find out who it is in the next episode. As you can see, we've got Wolves coming up next. Uh, you're going to see that I'm eyeing up a few more players. Uh, I've had a transfer offer for Joshua King. Oh, I wonder who this is from. Leicester City. Absolutely not. I am not going to loan out one of my most promising players to a uh, rival team. He's very unhappy that I'm going to have to start playing him. Anyway, guys, see you in the next episode, which will be out soon.